Hi guys, uh, it's a very exciting day for me today and today I picked up my new GT Zasker 29 inch wheels competition package. Um, this is a hardtail mountain bike. It is, it is, comes with uh, rock shocks, recon, front forks with uh, 100 m millimeter uh, front travel it comes with a 160 millimeter front uh, disc brakes these are hydraulic shimano brakes the um, the model is mt402 this particular bike um, it was a uh, very difficult for me personally to decide uh, what type of bike I wanted quite a few options out there basically the two main one I had to figure out is whether I wanted a hardtail versus a full suspension uh, this I decided to go with the hardtail mainly because uh, this is I'm gonna treat this as my project bike I plan on doing some conversions down the road I am mainly going to be converting this into a, a mid-drive electric mountain bike so that kind of ruled out a lot of full suspension bikes for me due to the restrictions of the geometry. This this one uh, tend to be perfect for that project work. The mid-drive uh, requires a geometric clearance so this is where the battery pack would go. This bike has a 73 millimeter bottom bracket so this is pretty like the standard to install the mid-drive electric motor and uh, this one comes with a 1 by 12 speed SRAM SX drivetrain this is a 12 speed and uh, never really ridden um, a bike with this high of a climbing power slash uh, efficiency so this would definitely give me a lot of climbing power tackling all those uh, steep hills and whatnot rocks which I personally don't see myself doing a lot but it's good to know that your bike is easily capable of doing all that stuff a uh, couple of modes. Uh, this one doesn't come with the pedals, so I, I picked this up from the local store. This is a, a, a metal, fairly heavy, but uh, not a lot of options for me available at this time due to uh, high demand on bikes and accessories. So I'm gonna keep this for now, but I'm gonna be changing this maybe later on. Uh, this. The gel seat, I mean this seat is uh, also a bit too firm for me. Um, I like my ride a little bit more comfortable. So I'm going to definitely upgrade this. I'm going to install a gel seat. And uh, I'm going to put up a quick release. Uh, order one of those. This this particular seat post comes with a, a 30.1 30 I believe. I'll put it... I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but I think the diameter of this seat post is 30.1 uh, diameter. The other thing is uh, I plan to install a, if I could just show you. So I do quite a bit of riding with my kids and uh, I, I pull a trailer. So this particular bike, uh, one of the challenges I'm encountering is um, I need to install this um, trailer uh, trailer adapter to pull my kid um, she's uh, eight months old so I do want to take her around with me when I go bike riding with the family so this is a 12 by 148 boosted uh, through axle which means that it, it wasn't possible for me to install this my previous bike it was a easy uh, bolted type uh, setup where I unscrewed it put it up and happy days right this one uh, not that easy 
However, there is a part in, in the aftermarket which I've ordered on Amazon. I'll put up the link in description. Uh, it's about 50, 50 bucks, but basically what it is, is it's the same through Excel. However, at the end, there is a, a place for me to nut this on, which is exactly what I need. So this was a fairly uh, an important up, uh, mode that I, I have to do just so that I can keep going out with uh, family and uh, keeping ourselves active and enjoying the beautiful summer the limited summer we have here in Ontario so yeah the other, the other upgrade I did was I installed a bottle cage this bike doesn't come with it I, I bought this Camelback uh, water bottle really liking it it's an insulated one I'll put up the link in description also in my video and uh, it also the good thing about this bike it, it it has another attachment here so i can potentially put two water bottles which is amazing or whatever accessories you want to throw in this one the other mode i did is i installed uh, a bell uh, planning to uh, pull my kids trailer so this is more like a safety thing for letting people know in our local trails this bike also has one uh, cool feature. It comes with a remote lock. So what it does is, at the moment, um, the bike has a travel in it. And when I lock it, it becomes firm. So if you're paddling on a paved road and stuff and you don't want that much travel, it, it gives you that option to lock, lock the front uh, forks and uh, this one the handlebar i am six feet three and um, this bike fits me uh there was quite a bit of uh, research for me whether i needed the xl frame or a large frame however i decided to go with a large just because um, i feel like it has more of uh, I have a better control of it in trails if I do go and it just is not that bulky enough so I think this was my my ideal size I, I went ahead and yeah guys um, that's all uh, I can think of this is my really first impression of the bike uh, I will put up another video with like a one week review maybe mid week mid the first week see how I think after owning a bike for like a week or so and then maybe I'll be able to give you what I like and what I don't like about this bike and then go from there but but so far um, it's a very well built bike um, I don't see it doesn't have any um, it rides really smoothly the tires are a very it has a very good rolling resistance so I don't feel very heavy on the paved surface uh, it's not too noisy also and yeah and it also comes with a, a come on this side it comes with the uh, integrated cables so just for a nice clean look um, no no more cables on the outside everything is nicely integrated inside the frame and uh, it just makes it more neat I guess but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions um, and I'll be posting more videos thank you